says, uh, says I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart, and I will enter his courts with praise. How many came today with praise? Amen. Amen. If you did not, give about 10 seconds to put your praise on. <laughs> we're going to sing. And remember who we're singing to. Right? Who's singing to God? You are God. You are Lord. Um, you are King of everything. Yes, He is. Join us if you can.
Bedi family. Did I say Bedi? Amen. Bedi family. Yeah, they're they're great. What a blessing they are. Can we hear it for them? Amen. Amen. make sure I get this right. I'll only partner with them again down the road Man. doing some revivals, but this is Bill and his wife Marilee and Anna Lynn, and it's Anna Lynn's birthday. Saturday. Can we sing happy birthday to Anna? <laughs> sure. But I don't want to leave out Brendan because, man, I've watched him play the drums, the uh, cello. The cello, but then this is the, the beatbox. Cajon. <laughs>
quarrel with one another? No. <laughs> hold on to every little word that somebody says and hold it against them in the future? No. Love. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Right. A lot of people in the church keep record of wrongs, but love keeps no record of wrongs. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that when we come to the foot of the cross, He gets rid of our record of wrongs. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Friends, God is holy. And by virtue of his holy love, you understand he consumes sin. There can be no sin in his presence. It's either being consumed by the blood of Jesus on the cross, or when you stand before him one day and you're not repentant and your sin is still there, it will be consumed. You see, sin was a problem. We talked about that last night, didn't we? Sin was a problem, and, and God decided to put skin on in the form of Jesus and leave the throne room of heaven so that he could take care of that problem. And thanks be to God, he's taking care of it. Now, God is calling for us to learn how to love one another the same way that Jesus has loved us. I don't know about you, but I'm interested in that. I, I want to be part of that, and that really is the revolutionary part of this movement that we're part of. It's the revolutionary part of it. Right. It doesn't seek re re revenge. It doesn't seek its way. It, it gives in. It says, I'll go the extra mile. Yeah. In Ephesians chapter 4, Paul teaches that we are supposed to love like God loves. Mm -hmm. I talked to you about that last night. Sacrificially, Romans 13, Paul says... If you love your neighbor as yourself, you fulfill all of God's commands. The whole law. Yeah. If you just learn to love well, all the, all the rest will just flow out of that. And in the same chapter, Paul says that the only debt we should ever owe anyone is the debt of love. That's just everywhere. It's just everywhere. It's, it's, it's throughout the Bible. And, and, and so, uh, I, I essentially, Paul's saying, just keep paying love forward. Just keep paying it forward. Pay it forward. The, God, the love God has extended to you, just pay it forward. In other words, treat everybody else that you come in contact with in this world the same way God's treated you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's, there's some folks here tonight that wasn't last night, so just real quick. Uh, to, and I went through this briefly last night, but to talk about what kind of love we're speaking of exactly, you know, the biblical writers used a lot of different words.